Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to design this web page layout by using table tag. As well as we are trying to design this web page layout by using div tag. In the previous video tutorial, we have designed the layout by using table tag. You can see that. In this video tutorial, we are going to design the same web page layout by using div tag. We are going to complete it. You can see here, we have created a wrapper div. Inside that we created a div which is going to behave as a header and it is working properly. Now we are going to proceed further and add remaining divs. So here I am going to create one div closing div. This div we are going to use for navigation purpose. So this is going to be identified as nav. One more div I am going to create. This we are going to use for main content area. So this is going to be identified by the identifier main. Similarly, one more div I am going to create. This is going to be for sidebar. So I am going to give ID name as a side and one more div I am going to create. This is going to be for footer purpose. Now we have all the divs laid out. Now we set the styles on them. So let's set the style. Style first style I am going to set is the width of 300 pixels I set semicolon and I set the height also H E I G S T height of 300 pixels semicolon later we modify same thing I am going to do for all other divs I am going to set the BG color also let me set the background color background dash color of cyan semicolon this thing I am going to copy from here paste for every other div this is going to have the background color of light gray and aside is going to have background color of yellow and footer is going to have a background color of black B L A C K black file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have four divs one below another one for nav one for main content one for a sidebar and one for footer now we proceed further and lay out it properly i hope you guys have learned and understood float property css float property that i have explained in the previous video tutorials we use that float property to lay out these divs properly First thing is of course we know that uh, if we set float left property we know that this nav is going to be taken out of the normal flow and floated towards left in its container itself and below divs are going to be moved up. So what we are going to do here is I am going to set here float float left left semicolon let me put content here nav this is going to be for main this is going to be sidebar sidebar and this is going to be footer file save as we are floating this div nav to the left these divs are going to be moved upward right file save go to browser and refresh you can see that nav is floated to the left but these three divs are moved up here we have sidebar and footer behind the nav we have main content so let me float it to the left that also so main content div we have that one also i am going to float towards left semicolon file save go to browser if i refresh nav and main content are going to be placed one beside another the sidebar is going to be moved up as well as the footer is also going to be moved up. If I refresh, you can see that nav and main are one beside another. Sidebar div is moved behind the nav and footer is moved up and also you can see the height of our container is changing. Now I am going to set float left to the aside also. F L O A T float 
l e f t left semicolon file save now what happens nav main and aside are going to be placed one beside another this footer is going to be moved inside if i refresh you can see that the footer styles are moved inside and the wrapper our wrapper div height is changed to smaller right you can see that it is reduced now what we can, we need to do is we should not allow the effect of float on flu, footer so the simple thing is i am going to set here clear left left semicolon when i say clear left we know that footer is not going to be get affected by the effect of float property you can see that footer is back in its place as we have set here footer of uh, 50 pixels we are going to set the footer height to 50 pixel file save go to browser and refresh and let's set the width of this footer to 100 percent so i am going to remove this 300 pixels and i set it to 100 percent file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the footer filled properly content is not getting visible we make it soon visible and also the height of each of these divs nav main and sidebar should be 400 so i am going to change that to 400 so this one should be 400 this one should be 400 this one should be 400 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the height got increased and width also we need to change so the first nav width should be 200 pixels main content area width should be 500 pixels and aside width should be 200 pixels file save go to browser and refresh now we have created the required layout and also i am going to set for this span style color of white and at the end i am going to close the span file save go to browser and refresh let me put this footer in the middle so here i am going to say what we have in the table in the table we have at copyright so i am going to write the same thing at c o p y copy r i g h t copyright and the text align of this div t e x t text a l i g n align we set it to center semicolon file save go to browser and and refresh you can see the text got aligned properly and we left with the border we need to remove to do that i am going to remove the border here i set it to zero pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that border is removed now we have achieved the required layout you can see that they both are same there is no difference only thing is this content area content area ha i have to add that is not a problem you can just put here main content area here you have to write nav content area and this is sidebar sidebar content area file save go to browser and refresh this is how you are going to design any layout by using the div tag i hope you guys have understood how do we design a layout by using table tag and div tag and it is very easy only thing one of the most important property you need to understand is floating which is most important and uh, it's quite simple you can see we created a wrapper inside that we created one div for header one div for navigation one div for main content one div for aside one div for footer and then we laid out properly so for this tutorial this much is enough friends i hope you guys have understood how to be design layouts by using table and div for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial